Now to Project Drive Safer, TMJ4's year-long commitment to combat reckless driving. Tonight, we're focused on a solution. Plastic poles are popping up at intersections across Milwaukee to get drivers to slow down. Ben Jordan is taking us in depth to look at the pros and the cons of this cheaper traffic calming solution being utilized throughout the city. More and more plastic poles known as bollards are being screwed into some of Milwaukee's busiest streets. They're intended to narrow traffic lanes and shorten walking distances for pedestrians. It's amazing to me because when I first saw them, I thought, what's this? Initially a skeptic, Carol Poth says she was quickly convinced they truly make a difference outside her church on Center Street. They're still driving fast, but it seems to be more relaxed. The plastic poles have become a big part of the Department of Public Works push to rapidly re-engineer city roads where the most crashes occur. This type of project is something that's been done in other cities throughout the U.S. and actually around the world. Uh, so we wanted to try and do it here in Milwaukee as well uh, to address reckless driving and forward our Vision Zero goals. DPW transportation planner Marissa Meyer says crews started installing the bollards along corridors in 2020, redoing roughly 80 intersections across the city since. Are these effective in curbing reckless driving? Yes, we've done some studies uh, on the effectiveness in Milwaukee and the uh, one of the results that we've seen is that that excessive speeding over 40 miles per hour, we've seen reductions up to 40%. The same DPW study found six times as many drivers are yielding to pedestrians at crosswalks that don't have traffic lights. What about people who are trying to pass on the right, the Milwaukee slide. Is that possible with these installed at an intersection? Technically, it is possible to pass on the right with these installed, uh, but it's not going to be a fun experience for you or your car, so I wouldn't recommend it. The city admits extending raised concrete like this into the intersection is more effective at preventing reckless driving simply because it's a much larger physical barrier. But plastic and paint is less than a quarter of the cost, and it can also be installed much quicker. Because we can't spend that much money on the concrete ones, this is a way of getting at this whole problem. Steve O'Connell is the chairman of the Sherman Park Reckless Driving Task Force. The plastic seems to work. I'm not kidding you. Steve's a proponent of the quick solution, but he's also seen the downsides. The bollards can be flattened with one strike, and some have already been removed until spring. If the bid, the Business Improvement District, does not have enough money to basically snow shovel around the, 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 the bump out, then they have to take those out for the winter. DPW says the goal is to keep as many of the posts as possible year round, but that requires nearby business districts to shovel the snow that piles up after the plows come through. I hope it's just a temporary downside. I hope this is figured out within the next, you know, for next winter. Since the plastic poles and street paint typically only last about three to five years, DPW says they would ideally be replaced with elevated concrete at that time if the funds are available. Reporting in Milwaukee, Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News. And we need your help as we work to get safer drivers on Milwaukee's roads. Scan the QR code right there on your screen to see all of the Project Drive Safer stories we've done in the past. And you can also send us a message if you have an idea or a potential solution.